Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been paying any attention to Instagram or YouTube lately, you'll know that the highlighter challenge is pretty much the biggest rage going right now. So I went to Ulta, picked up some affordable items, and decided to give this look a try. I even took a bunch of glitter spray and put it all in my hair. So if you want to see how you can do the highlighter challenge with budget items, stay tuned. And don't forget, if you like this video, please like it down below and subscribe. Thanks so much guys, see you soon! Alright guys, we're back at it again with a voiceover. I'm starting out today with the Ulta Beauty Strobing Kit. This was a trio of products and I'm using the lightest shade in pearl all over my face to act almost like a primer to give myself a good base. Overall, I wasn't crazy about this trio, but the pearl shade was definitely the best of the three. Alright, and now I'm going to go in with my NYX Liquid Illuminator and Sunbeam and use this almost like a liquid foundation. It is a pinkish gold color and I've used this since this challenge and I really enjoy it. It's not crazy over the top. I think it gives a really nice subtle glow to your skin and I really don't have anything bad to say about it. Singing this whole tutorial and just all the songs. Now we're going to go in with the NYX Strobe of Genius palette. I picked this up for $18 at Ulta. A little difficult to open, but once I get it open, I'm going to use those two light shades at the bottom and a Sephora powder brush, and I'm going to start packing that all over the face. One thing I've noticed about this highlighter challenge is that it's not very forgiving to any kind of blemishes or larger pores. The sun shining off that highlighter is just, it really draws attention to everything that you don't want to draw attention to, but that's all right. Okay, I'm going back in with that pearl from Ulta and putting that on top of my eyebrows. Not going to fill them in as normal, so this is just to pack on the glow. Now we're going to wait. That's me instructing you that we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Yep. And we're going to go in with the Ulta Beauty Cool Effects Eyeshadows, and this is in the color Bronze. You need to shake this up because it's very liquidy and it separates, but once you do, you're going to take a little bit and you can put that on the back of your hand. And then you want to use your finger to put it all over your eyelid. Now I didn't mind this so much, especially because it was on sale. However, it is a product that dries very quick quickly. So you need to act fast to kind of get it to blend out so that you don't have any harsh lines, especially if you're on the paler side. Yeah, so much grossness. Literally, that makeup white was disgusting by the end. I had so much gross product on it. We're gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Vivid Shimmer Brick. And we are going to just take a little bit of a blending brush there to make sure any harsh lines are gone. Go in with the second to darkest bronze shade all over the lid there. Blending it out with a MAC blending brush. And then I'm going to go in with the darkest bronze shade and put that in the crease in the outer V. I didn't really like this at first. You're going to see a lot of changes. Blending, blending. Going in with the lightest shade there and on the inner corner and at the brow bone. Still wasn't crazy about it. So I'm going back in, blending. Now I'm taking that, that lightest shade there and putting that under my eyes, almost like a concealer. Packing some of the pink shade on the center of my lid there and then going to mix those bronze shades and putting that over my eyebrows now that that color has set. There we go. Going back in, back in again and then just packing more of that light shade underneath my eyes. We're gonna curl the lashes. I hate curling my lashes. It doesn't do anything, that's fine. Now we're gonna use the NYC Cosmetics Liquid Liner in black. I start off like this, but then I realize like you really can't see what the hell I'm doing. So I zoom in here a little bit. Let me know if you like this. It definitely cuts the quality down a little because I had to zoom in, but I feel like you can probably see what I'm doing a little bit more. And then I grab a little mirror so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go in. I dip that brush in once, but then I brush it off on the inside of the tube, and I will just swish that around to get more product if I need it. I wanted pretty long wings for this, especially because I was gonna put on falsies. All right, we're gonna give it a coat of Benefits There Real Mascara just to make sure that my lashes can blend into the falsies that I end up putting on. And 
and then I'm using the Revlon glue and then those are a pair of Ardell Curvies. I'm not sure of the number, I've already put them on. And then I'm putting another coat of mascara on. Now we're gonna go in with the Ulta Beauty Strobing Kit and this is in bronze. I have a lot of feelings about this. It was a pretty color but it was really hard to blend. Um, I'm just using an e.l.f. brush here because it was great for contouring. But you'll see later on, like, it was just really hard to blend out. Stop wiping it off, wiping it off, singing. Okay, and then this is the last in that kit. This is the rose gold color. And then I'm using a stippling brush and putting that on my cheeks there. Oh, what am I singing? Going back in with that strobe of genius and picking up the pink highlighter shades and putting that on top of the rose because I did not like it, and then just blending it out. Now we're gonna use the Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighter and put that on the tops of my cheeks, the top of my nose, and my Cupid's bow, and then I put it a little bit on the top of my chin. This was okay. Um, for the money, I think I paid $2.99 for this product, it was pretty good. And then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Melted Metals and Peony. I actually forgot that I had this. And I wanted something metallic to put on my lips so it looked like a highlighter, and this was perfect. Alright, we're gonna go on one last time with that Strobe of Genius palette, pick up the lightest shade and just tap it on the center of our lips for a little extra highlight. Also because it pained me to spend $18 on that palette, so I wanted to use it as much as possible. Ta-da! All right, I'm gonna wipe off everything that's on my hands, fix my hair, and then this is the completed look. This is using all affordable products that are highlighters, all under $20. If you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe below if you wanna see my face in your inbox, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.